Welcome back to the Stu Football Fans. It's your boy Lolo. It's Mark. And we got James. And he may not look it, but he's super happy. And I'm super <laughs> happy right now. He's calling us on his on his lunch break, so nobody tell his boss. So quickly, yeah, exactly. quickly like and subscribe. We gotta get this shit on the road. <laughs> Let's do Let's this. Go. James, five goals. I mean, I thought you would win this match. I thought you guys would win, but five goals? Yeah. And, and even more uh, impressively, in, even time. more impressive, another clean sheet. Yep. What's up, man? You must be you must be over the moon right now. I am. I am. I'm. Uh, I'm extremely happy with that performance. Uh, the finishing was incredible. Uh, I mean, some amazing goals. Uh, the passing was uh, sublime. I mean, I think at one point they showed a, a stat in the second half where we had an 88 um, percent accuracy yeah. rating. That's unbelievable. On our I mean, that's ridiculous. That's unbelievable. Well, yeah. you know what? We were we were watching side by side. Um, we had we had Arsenal playing uh, Brighton, and we had Leeds, West Brom. And at one point, I was like, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. At least All for this right. episode. <laughs> <laughs> you Leeds fans out there finally got what you wanted. At least he, for this episode. He's gone, right? to, the, he's gone right. to the white yeah. side. Going to the dark yeah. side. I'm growing time. my hair out so I can get the, the Jack Harrison. Uh, I can get the Leeds United haircut. But hey, there you, go. you guys are so freaking impressive and so fun to watch. It's so much more fun when they win. But this is just so much. Just seeing the difference in the way you guys are so... Um, Aggressive. In tuned, <laughs> aggressive passes that yeah. the cameraman doesn't even have the guy in the frame, and you're going that passes to nobody. But no, here comes Alioski or so, somebody flying in out of the wing. Tell you what, I was picking fantasy team, and I didn't know which leads guy to pick because there's like anyone can end up <laughs> with a goal or two or an assist. But you know who I did pick? Melier. There and Mark go. and I have been talking and. The dude's got six clean sheets. He can't be Miss Leslie anymore. He can't be Miss Leslie anymore, okay? No. That's, there's no, no longer, no longer so, going to refer to you as that. So we're going to tighten up the loops. Tighten up it like this. Melier. 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 Uh, yeah. he, he, he had that one, he had that one uh, brain fart there in the second half. Mm -hmm. but, but, he, uh, but, but, he, that, but he made the stop and then made the recovery, okay? So yeah, remember, yeah, he's like exactly. 12 years exactly. old. You get, you get one of those a match from him, so that's you know. But other than that, he was he was incredible. Yeah, it's it's I mean, impressive. We, was. yo, we were looking at a list. We were looking at the list of clean sheets, and he is above. So he's sitting in tied for third place with clean sheets in the Premier right. in the Premier League. The Premier League. Oh, no? He's over Hugo Lloris, Edward Mendy, Mendy uh, Nick Pope. Casper Schmeichel, Rui Patricio, Fabianski, De Gea, Leno, Pickford, Allison. You guys yeah. should be ecstatic. The boy is working his butt off, getting better every day, and even covering his own ass on mistakes like that. Sorry. I'm excited. Yeah. I, let me let you talk. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I think, you know, you, you, you juxtapose the two matches. You know, the one on Sunday versus the one today. The one on Sunday, we won ugly, right? But we still won. Uh, both matches were six pointers. Today, we won the way we expect to win, yep. right? I mean, a flowing match, uh, up and down the pitch, beautiful finishing, gorgeous passing, all of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, the two matches could have been different, but both were victories and both were three points, you know? So against teams that we need to beat yep. uh, to stay up. So that's, you know. Let me hey, ask I you this. Be happier, man. I couldn't be happier. Fantastic. So, so this match today was two of the newly promoted sides. Right. Has there ever been this vast of a difference? Like, you guys don't seem like a promoted side. You're not treated right. like a promoted side when other teams play you. Right. West Brom has been playing like a newly promoted side. Fulham has been oh, yeah. playing like a newly promoted side. Yeah. You guys are at 23 I, I, I points before the friends. halfway point. Yeah, I, mean, I messaged one of my uh, one of my friends during the uh, during the match, and I told him, I said, you know, you can see the difference between a team that obviously has made improvements, has added people, 
uh, you know, they're, I mean, just superiorly managed, <laughs> you know, yeah. and you can tell the difference between the two sides. I mean, West Brom came up, they tried to do things on the cheap, and you just can't, you know, you can't do it. Yeah. Uh, and, you, and you saw today the quality between the two sides. I mean, it was staggering. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I have to say in, in the in the League Cup, getting to see teams like uh, Stoke City and, uh, and um, uh, Brentford. Yeah. They, they looked quality as well. And, and I, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but they seem more competitive than West Brom and Fulham do right now. Um, so yeah. Maybe some of the wrong teams popped up. And, and I think yeah, that, no, that's a testament to how difficult it is to get out of the championship, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. And, and, you know, getting out of the championship is one thing, of course, that's a, a monumental, you know, task. And then, um, then staying up, you know, uh, and in order to stay up, I mean, I don't know if you want to do it the, the, the way that Villa did it last year and spend that much money and then almost get re uh, relegated. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, you know, you've got to spend in West Brom, you know, uh, Try to do it on the cheap, and it's, it's just not working. Yeah, you just can't do it. Yeah, uh, so that, I mean that's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. All right, Mark, what are your thoughts? Super impressive win today. I think a much, uh, much better. Uh, I, I, I'm sure you felt better uh, than than oh, on yeah. Sunday. Sunday was a bit tense, but this was, uh, yeah. you know, straight from the uh, that ridiculous West Brom uh, mistake where he kicks it into his own goal and. <laughs> the floodgates just kind of opened up. Was, it was that, that was, was the type of day it was going to be. Goal I've ever seen. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't recall ever seeing an own goal that was scored from that far out. Yeah, well, the, the and that the hard was going for a snack break or something. <laughs> I don't know where he was. Like, what is he doing? I mean, that was that was impressive. And Mark's you know, like, but the the guy didn't even look. He where doesn't he was even passing. look. He, he just, shouldn't have to. <laughs> the keeper should be in front of the. He was like, okay, we're gonna take a break. Yeah. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, okay, James, I know you got to get back to your to your job because uh, we don't yeah. pay much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's okay. Quarter. We're yeah. we're working towards uh, getting a getting a group trip to Ellen Road next year, for for one of the first matches or second matches or Leeds Arsenal, and we're flying you out there. Yeah, that's got to happen. It's got to so, happen. It's got to happen. All right. Yeah. Anything else yeah. you want to add? No, I mean, that's it. I mean, it was just uh, impressive, uh, beautiful match to watch. Uh, huh. I mean, I have nothing to say. I mean, I said, you know, there are times when, you know, those of us who comment on the matches and this is, you know, we like to do it's It's, it's enjoyable. It's it's yeah. fun. But it's, sometimes you just have to, you know, shut up and kind of just say, oh, my God. And just go. Uh, just sit back and enjoy the beauty of that sort of performance. Yeah. Let the play do the you talking. Know? Yeah. And uh, we'll yep. see the real comparison between our two sides next week because we go up against West Brom, and it'll be a one nil <laughs> nail biter. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, All right, God. man. Well, we'll let you get back to work. Thank you so much for taking some time out to talk to us. We're loving watching Leeds, um, but um, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, James. No problem, Thanks, man. Mark. Don't forget My to pleasure. like and subscribe. And like we always say at the end of the episode, what do we say, James? Leads, 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 leads. See you guys Be next good. week. Good win. Six points right. in like four days. What? <laughs>